Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Happy 11-11. Yes. I hope you all are doing well. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. So this is going to be what's the tea? What do we need to know? It is a collective read. So it may or may not resonate. If it resonates with you, good. This was for you, boo. Go ahead and hit the like. Share with your family and friends and comment. Okay, so we got some things that's jumping out already. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Let's go ahead and get into this. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody from a distance. <clears throat> y'all are dealing with someone who, yeah, at a distance. This person is at a distance from you. So I'm getting like a distant lover. From a distance, I want to let y'all know. This person can seem real, real well off from a distance. But I don't know if that's really real. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's really real. I think this person is really like being false. <laughs> being false about their money. They got some type of concern. The concern is they may be out of work. Okay, so we got coffee and toil and labor. That's somebody who does not have a job at the time. This is their concern. Like their concern is they're working on their finances. You could be dealing with this person. I feel like some of y'all, this person could be distant or you're at a distance from this person. Like physical distance. Like you live here and they live there. But they're really having a hard time. Like, like no lie, y'all. I got poverty and despair. Now, that's really something to have both of those in one read. Um, but like I said, this is a concern. Like they're... They're really concerned about this, yeah, because they're used to being at a in a better position. Okay, we got high honor. They feel as if you may want them to like. It's like I'm hearing like, what you want me to do? You know, what you what what do you want me to do? Borrow it, borrow the money. What do you want me to do? Go out my like. I'm that's what I'm hearing because. I'm getting that they are having issues with their finances and they're trying to pretend that they aren't with false person right here. I got a marriage here. Somebody, this person could be married. They feel stuck in this marriage. So they just sit around and hope that unexpected income comes in and that's that. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's trying to who's who's trying to portray themselves to be um like they got it when they really don't. They really don't. They're really struggling. To be honest. <laughs> They're struggling. So they need to put all that capping. Because that's what they're doing. Was That's what's going on. There's a lot of capping going on. It's a lot of capping. Like, they need to be real. <laughs> they need to keep it real. Okay? If they ain't got it, don't be right here doing all that faking. Okay, I got trust and separation. And children. 
okay? So children could be involved, and this person could be trying to heal, like, keep their family together. Because I'm getting, like, there's either a family or a marriage somewhere in this situation. So somebody here could be married or they live with someone, okay? Someone here could be trying to live two separate lives. I'm seeing that as well. Like, in one place, they got children and things that nature. They got that going on, and they're still trying to satisfy you. Why is trust here? The moon and the sun. Hmm. I feel like somebody here is trying to look for some clarity, trying to find some clarity. But but can't or someone here is trying to find out why. Someone here could be trying to look for a job as well, too. Yeah, like. I'm getting like they're looking for something new. Like a new. some Somebody here could be like. Using their gifts to try to find a way to bring something in. I'm getting that they spy on you too. They spy on you guys. But I'm just getting like somebody stuck in somebody. They feel stuck in this uh, partnership. It could be uh, financial. Like that could be the reason that they stick around. But they're spying on you, seeing what you're doing, watching your moves, wondering what you got going on. Now, with children, I got two of swords, queen of wands, six of cups, and four of swords. I'm getting, like, a separation. Okay, so this person could definitely be married, um, but they aren't sure if they want to be separate from their kids or they don't want to do things separately, possibly with children involved. They don't want to look back at it and regret it. If there's some type of separation, like I said, yeah, they, yeah, we got the lovers, okay? But I'm getting, like, your person feels obligated to one situation, but they're trying to still prove a point to you, okay? They ain't really got it like that. They don't really got it like that. It's a lot of capping going on. Like, they don't really got it like that, okay? Um, I do feel like mm, it's just a sticky situation. This is a sticky situation. It's sticky. Let me see what other messages we can get. These hook cards are so hard to shuffle. Okay. Give me a message. Give me a message. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got woo woo. <laughs> we got all in. Okay, 
<laughs> Give me one more card. Magic carpet. GPS at the bottom. I'm getting that you're dealing with somebody who still wants to stick around. Okay, they're all in. Um, they do plan on giving you, like, you know, your desires. <laughs> But like I said, I just feel like this person just, they have uh, obligations elsewhere. And who wants the shitty end of the stick? You know, like, who wants that? Like, I don't see why anyone would want that, you know? So, y'all let me know what's going on with y'all in the comment section below. All right? And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.